This is The Tragedy of Aether, Part 5, a fan story by I.I. Voltage Wolf. During the team's journey through the accursed fortress, Claren scans for any structural weaknesses using her special eyewear. It took some time and looking around until she found one located near a crypt room. Cover me, you two! The kitty ordered her teammates, grabbing a very high-tech explosive from her pocket and placing it on the spot on the ground where it's structurally weak. Are you sure about this? Maple asked in concern, worrying that the rubble might crush them when they escape. If that bomb explodes while we are escaping, it might close us in and give us a tragic end. It seems that Claren knew what she was doing, but she listened anyway, adding more time to the explosive's timer. Once she is finished, she returns to her team and continues onward. I have something to tell you all, but I can't tell you now, as this will shock you. The rogue knight spoke to their teammates, gripping their blade's handle while it's sheathed to prove that they're ready. A few moments of exploring areas pass, and they have entered the fortress's garden, a place that is covered in flowers with no color other than the color of darkness. And these plants didn't take water, but rather blood. Look at this place. Claren exclaimed in amusement. This place is one of the most beautiful places of the fortress. It was at this moment that a voice thanked her from the shadows. It sounded sinister and very familiar to the team, sounding very much like a demon. Dregador, I know it's you. Show yourself. The robed knight confronted the voice. And it's just as the team suspected, the Dark Emperor steps out from the shadows. But it seems that he has a little surprise waiting in the shadows. If it isn't the so-called saviors of Aether. Dregador greeted, I have something to show you in the darkness ahead. Go there if you dare. Claren readied her energy saber. Maple readied her leaf blades, and the robed knight unsheathed their sword of enlightenment before walking into the darker part of the garden, only to discover that a certain friend is being used for evil. Horseburn? The charismatic raccoon slowly approached the fire yin with caution, but much to Maple's dismay, Horseburn turned around and punched her into a nearby wall temporarily putting her out of commission. The team witnessed this and prepared to try and save the brooding Yi. Forceburn, being possessed and acclimated to demonic power, threw blazing, fiery punches at the remaining teammates, but some of his attacks were cancelled by doing things strategically. Claren, with her trusty energy saber, blocked his attacks while the robed knight sliced at his back. The blood shed from the battle covered the floor, feeding the plants of darkness until Forceburn finally gets a hold of his true self. Claren, of the savior, I need you to finish me. He commanded them before trying to get up. We can't let Dregador rule over our souls. The team refused to kill him, as Emperor Dregador mentioned. If you kill him, you, Claren, will cease to exist. The wounded Yin makes his escape and didn't return to the fortress. Now listen up, you three. The demonic coyote warned. It won't be this easy next time. You must make certain that if you see me again, you're truly dead.
he teleports away in swirling darkness, retiring to his safe place while the team checks on Maple. Are you alright, Maple? The robed knight asked the injured raccoon. Yes, I am, she replied, shaking the injury off and getting back up. Thank you for checking on me. Claren was also relieved, but she was more focused on the mission to destroy the Dark Emperor. So she ordered the rest of her team to get ready and proceed to the next area. What other strange things might happen during their mission? Can they truly accomplish this mission with only three teammates? Only time and prayers will tell.